Hi, this is Susan from Stuart Design, and today we're going to talk about our styles, our style sheets in, uh, in InDesign CS5. Um, here's the deal. Uh, when talking about your character styles, or your paragraphs, or your styles, it, it really is a way to organize your font globally throughout a whole document uh, or multi-page document. Really good things to use or really good to use when you've got a multi-page document. You always want to set up your style sheets um, or your styles. If you don't see it out here in your panel, uh, character styles and paragraph style, you can always go to your type, go to character styles and paragraph styles, and that will show up. Another quick key command for that is, if you look over here, beside every uh, function in InDesign, you've got your quick key command, which is shift command F11. And then for your paragraph styles, you've got command F11. So if they're not out, that's a great way to get those, uh, those palettes out. So anyway, I'm going to go into my character style. Now character style just, um, character style just really uh, talks about your font. So for example, your size, what point size, your letting. Uh, letting is just your space in between your lines of type. So bold, non-bold, what color. So things like that. It just talks about your font. Now your paragraph style uh, deals with more of your uh, body copy, so the layout of your style. So for example, um, if you look here, this would be considered your body copy. So there I would assign my paragraph style, just something that I like to do. Um, so let's go ahead and uh, start with the character style. I like to go ahead and go in and name my file. So if you go over here to your options uh, and click that and you go new character style, I'm going to go ahead and just name my header and do a basic uh, character font. Um, let's just do Arial. And uh, for my header, now you know your headers are 14 and above, so 14 points, type is measured in points. So um, I'm going to make that uh, 72. Mm, no, let's go a little bit bigger. Let's do 100. And uh, let's do my letting at 110. All right, and my kerning. Let's leave that alone. And my tracking, tracking is just your space in between your uh, letters. I like to open my tracking up, just uh, something that I like to do as a graphic designer. You have your advanced uh, character formats. But right now, I'm just going to show you guys the, the basic uh, way to set up your, your header. So I'm going to just change my color. So let's just go in and change it to magenta and press OK. All right, so now I'm going to assign that header to my type here. So I'm just going to click on that and you see how that assigns that style sheet to my header. All right. So I'm going to set up uh, the next thing that I'm going to do. I'm going to close this out and I'm going to set up my paragraph styles because I want these to have a, an assignment on them also too. Um, so I'm going to go in and uh, click the options, go to new paragraph style. All right. I'm just going to name this body copy. Right. Uh, you got your basic format. We can do Arial nine points. That sounds good. Um, to set it there. Uh, let's do. You can set your indentions, your alignment. You can center them. Right alignment, left justify. Let's leave it at left because it's easier to read. You can do your tabs also too. Uh, paragraph rules. Um, certain things that you can do is. Uh, uh, drop cased and nested styles. You can import nested styles. So for example, if you have a list of things and you want the first row to be in bold and the second row to be in light, you can do that here. So, but in this case, let's just go ahead and set the color. I, I'm really all into this um, gray text. So I'm going to just take that. Yeah, 80% is good. So press OK. All right, so now I'm going to click on this actual body copy here and I am going to assign a body copy to my text down here and click OK. Alright, so I'm going to click, uh, as you saw, I just clicked my body copy and that changed my font globally. So this is super good to use um, in a multi-page document. Let's just say um, you set up 100 plus pages in InDesign and all of a sudden it goes to your creative director or let's just say your client sees it and you want to change, they don't like your header. What are you going to do? 
Are you going to go back to each one of those pages on 100 plus pages and change that font? No, you're going to go in and let's just say they don't like the header. Oh yeah, I'm going to go in and just change this header out. And uh, let's just say they don't like the font. Let's change the font to, uh, let's see, American Typewriter. I don't know, something weird like that. So we're going to do American Typewriter. So all of a sudden it changes, all right? So you can always press preview down here and it'll change. Um, big Caslon, that's a good one. So I'm going to press OK. And you see how that changes out globally. Um, so this is a good way of organizing yourself in InDesign. Uh, before you start on a multi-page document, always set up your styles, all right? Set up your character styles and your paragraph styles. And it's going to save you time and energy in the long run if all of these are set up. You can also, in your character styles, add... Uh, certain people as many types of character styles you want. You can do uh, header, you can do subheads, you can do footer, you can do page numbers. So those are different things that you can do inside of your character styles. So um, that's it. So uh, thanks for tuning in. This is Susan from Stuart Design and I hope you learned something. Thanks.